What a time to be alive, folks. I actually have the energy and not lazy to upload one more video to my channel. It's a revolutionary. I should get checked up to the priest and see if the priest needs to perform an exorcism because I would have waited for another year to upload another video. For today, I have a handful of mods to review. Let's get started. Do you ever see yourself in a zombie apocalypse covered in zombie guts and ick and think to yourself, man, is it just me or the blood can be looking pathetic? Instead of trying to notice blood, I should instead notice that this room should be covered in blood and just fill the room with viscera. If that thought have not even crossed your mind, you probably are a sane, normal person. Nevertheless, I have a couple of blood mods which you guys would also find interesting. The first mod is called Blood Plus Plus by Mute. When you visit the workshop, this guy gives you a guided explanation on how to properly install the mod. He said to just move his mod from the workshop to the folder above being your add-ons, and then changing the shader detail to something else and changing it back to very high. So it shouldn't be a problem to you. I mean, come on, this game is released in the year 2007. You should have been able to run this game in the highest settings. And to test the blood mods, I'll be going to Dark Carnival's second map since there is a panic event that I can stop, which I would like to call the testing area. But what I've noticed is that I don't notice anything, except there's some more blood than usual. So I lied. I actually noticed something. Apparently, what this mod does is enable on how many blood decals can stack up on each other. Instead of being able to stack 3 blood decals right next to each other, this mod can you let you stack 20, which could you let you do this. It is a screenshot from the mod author, but mine is nowhere near it. I swear I installed it properly, so I'm just a goddamn idiot. But since it changes on how many decals can stack on each other, you can install other blood mods that alter the texture. I have found a couple of them, one being famous called Improved Blood Textures mod by Baka Kemono. You can never go wrong with this mod, I mean one head just painted the entire wall. If you didn't know this mod, then what rock have you living under? This mod currently has 1 million subscriptions on the workshop and a favorite of people of a large sum of 50,000. If you're looking for a different mod, then this is what the two other blood mods are for. One is a questionable and the other is a very good blood mod that rivals the improved blood textures. So the first recommend mod is called Better Blood Decals by Stone. This blood texture is really huge and bulbous. That's what she said. I know this blood is looking disgusting, but in a good way, if there even is one. Personally, this is what I like more than the two blood mods for today because there's just so much blood in a 2007 texture quality and it just fits right in a 2007 game. If you're looking to paint a room with red, this mod is for you. But for the more sophisticated zombie killers, I also have a mod for you. The mod called Enhanced Blood Texture. Tweaked by Daya. This mod personally is much more HD than the famous improved blood textures. This mod is CFA. I don't even know what that means. But looking at Gmod, the mod set has the title TFA, it's just good quality in general. So I was not disappointed when this mod has a TFA title and it came out looking what a TFA mod should be. If I wanted a much more HD blood, when I'm feeling it, I am going for this mod. If I'm not, I'm going for the cartoonish looking like 2000 blood textures. Because it just feels right to me. And in the end, it just comes to personal preference. You hear that, Boomer? Now, when looking for blood mods, I saw something that Bakekemono recommended in his page, and it is also too good to pass up, and surprise, surprise, it only has not even a fraction of the total downloads of his mod, and not even the same mod author. I was expecting it to be same, but continuing with the review. This mod is called New Particle Effects and Other Mouthful Functions by Maya. Now, this mod gives brand new features, one that I have noticed is that the game performed much more beautiful, as well as the zombies I'm decimating.
this mod gives new bullet head effects. But if you're decent that hits zombies or you're crap at the game and it hits nothing. This mod still gives you brand new effects. If it hits a concrete material, it will give you a better or more particles when hitting it. The same goes for metal. Okay, maybe there's not much of a difference between the two, but you know, it's the thought that counts. The mod developer also took into account when shooting grass gives you the same experience as smoking a pot. Clearly, this also happens in real life. The guns are also affected, so you should see more sparks and smokes depending on the type of weapon you're using. For example, shotguns has more smoke trails and sparks rather than a rifle. Same goes for a sniper which you guessed it, more smokes and sparks or smarks. So it's time to say goodbye to my old friend Legacy Particle Effects because there is now a new king. Also you will notice how this mod performs just by looking at the bots or your teammates. For some reason they have much more effects than you have. But what I love the most about this mod is the amount of blood you see when your bullets impact or hit a zombie. The bloods are much more noticeable than they are in vanilla leaving a cloud of blood pretty much every time you kill a zombie, which happens like all the time. So you sick fucks better download this mod because it just makes me want to play more Left 4 Dead just because of this mod. That's how good it is. Have you ever experienced when running Dead Center and the thought enters your mind, bro, is it just me or the sky kind of looking gross? No, then you're not one of my people. To fix it, I have the mod Fancy Skies. Just like the name suggests, it gives you fancy skies. Do you need more elaboration? Now, the mod developers are not the actual developers. Instead, the original is at the website Game Banana. And they just made it so on Workshop because they spared you the headache to having to install it directly, which I have no clue on how to do it, not even the first step. The mod is compiled by Wolpin on the Steam Workshop, but the original creator is Kmuk. But when you have this mod installed, you would notice you have actual clouds in your Left 4 Dead 2 and the behavior that clouds should also have and on how they should also behave depending on the type of weather. I'm looking at you hard green. Okay they don't actually have any behaviors and they don't change or move no matter how much time you spend at the campaign. At the beginning of the map I see regular clouds but moving on later the same campaign I noticed that Zeus is really pissed off and it's not just hard green. Take for example earlier dead center. It has actual clouds that I should also see in real life and not instead just being stale and boring sky. Another good example, take the chapter Dark Carnival. You would load in as usual, look up to the heaven, and would see nothing. But with the mod installed, you would notice some beautiful stars, dazzling clouds, and a huge ass moon. Remember to try to have scenery on the game. It's not just about killing zombos. The Steam Workshop is a fantastic place for everyone to enjoy and mod their games responsibly and accordingly to their preferences. It is also known as one of the homage of anime waifus and asbandos. So I was wondering why not... Oh. Oh, oh no. He looks absolutely stunning. The mod called Kom Zhong Li by Ruby Rose. I have never played Genshin Impact for more than 30 minutes. I downloaded this game since release so you can say I am one of the earliest gamers of Genshin Impact. So show some respect. I'm joking. Or am I? I have never clicked this game. It was not my forte. Played it like 10 minutes and never touched it again. But I won't deny they have the most attractive waifus and asbandos. Take for example Zhongli here. I could hear thousands of females dripping sweat through their panties. I'm like Hawkeye, but for years. So you can call me Hawk Ears. That was cheap. I'm not sorry. He replaces the redneck that we all know and love. You know, Ellis. Though I won't lie, I don't think that there would be a model for Zhongli that would reach top levels of suave that I could not even comprehend reaching in the first place. His cape also looks edgy. It blows every time he walks. Looking at this model made me understand how I can quickly turn bisexual. Although, as usual, there won't be perfections. His mouth is not moving when Alice is speaking. for an entire year every single time he opened his eyes oh man at first it was funny then it just got sad but then it got funny again oh man uh -huh. and he still has the name tag else which sadly breaks my bisexual i mean immersion points yes exactly and not to point out that he's extremely shiny and bright on some part of the maps also he's excruciatingly tall me an average nick enjoyer is looking kind of small and Zhongli, but I won't complain. And his chest just seems really out. God, his face is so cute. I, I was talking about his icon. His icon, yes. 
what I should be pointing at. Now to counterbalance the anime dopamine, I also included an anime waifu. I think we all know our goddess Hu Tao. Make sure we all have our doses of Hu Taoism. The mod Genshin Impact Hu Tao replaced Zoe by Huan C8. Look at her. Peel your eyes to this magnificent fruit ball. She looks so goddamn adorable. I could look at her all day. She's so small that I could practically lift her up. I won't even complain if there was a horde behind me and she's simultaneously shooting at me. I would still look at her dead straight in the eyes. While I was gathering information on the model, totally not staring at her for an hour long, she is the eye blinking animations and unlike Zhongli, she has mouth animations. <laughs> The imperfect side of this mod is none. Absolutely nothing. Except she has the name tag Zoe instead of Hu Tao, but I forgive that. The actual downside is her fingers. It's like she broke all 10 of her fingers. Also, she's very white and not a single hint of heat in her body. And no, it's not the type of heat that I want in a female, you goddamn degenerates. I meant it's that she's so white that there's not a single color of orange. It's like she's dead. Also, why are you so cute? So, I now know the actual reason for must protect and gives me the reason to look at my teammates more often than not. And who would have thought that Hu Tao would be wielding a ballistic weapon from Crossfire. But that isn't enough, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't got my fill of dose of Hu Taoism, so I got two more mods to satisfy my needs. One is called Hu Tao Loading Icon by Undefined. It replaces the iconic Left 4 Dead icon with Hu Tao dancing on my Wumu Shinderu, so I could look at Hu Tao even though in loading screens or even in campaigns in Left 4 Dead 2 when I am not looking at her or in the presence of the goddess. I also as well included the mod called called Hu Tao Healing Sound made by Hori Kyoko and this guy really really likes Hori Kyoko. I wouldn't judge brother, although you're the first one that I saw that is level 300 on Steam. As the mod implies, you will now hear the voice of our goddess every time we use our medkits. To be able to demonstrate it properly, we must take damage to be able to use the medkit. There is not a single zombie spawning thanks to console commands. So after some improper use of the grenade launcher, Bill, no, 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 stop, stop, get the frick out of my face. I am now injured enough to use the medkit, and have to say I am truly blessed in the moment. And that's it for the mod, but I don't know about you guys, but I'm willing to examine this hotel model for a bit more catch my drift. Hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase. If you guys really want more contents like this, share with your friends and click the subscribe button. Let's see if we can get 100 subscribers at the end of the year. And if this video gets 200 plus views, I would 100% try to upload another video. So gag your friends to a chair and make them watch my videos or just share them like a regular person and motivate me to the fullest. And lastly, see you guys practically in months or weeks because school is starting next week. So I am pretty much occupied until Christmas break. Stay safe. Shape. Stay safe and peace. Now give me the beat.